Hi Virgo, so I like to get straight into the readings. If there is anything that you feel you need to know about the readings, then I definitely encourage you to read the description box, especially if you're new to tarot. The card deck information that I've used for your read can always be found in my pinned comments below and cross watches. Please remember to switch the energies around if it applies, but do try to keep in mind that this might not be your story at all, okay? This could be someone else entirely different that your Virgo is dealing with and equally Virgo if you please just take what's resonating for you and leave what doesn't for another Virgo okay right so your first card out is choices every choice has a consequence even thoughts are like magnets for good or bad not making a choice is still making a choice and then the High Priestess of Earth, a time to take care of your physical body and needs, waits for tangible evidence. Okay, um, right, so first and foremost, Virgo, take a look at your daily routine, okay, and make sure that you're leaving enough space within your routine <clears throat> for yourself. So make sure that uh, you maybe getting enough exercise um that, that your physical body is getting the <clears throat> nutritions that it needs um somebody is needing to speak up as well some someone is needing to uh stand up for themselves because <clears throat> my throat is going absolutely crazy um <clears throat> that there, there's this is connected to that wait for tangible evidence with that voice. Um, you you want to speak up on something, but you feel that there, there's you don't have evidence. So this could be your intuition could be telling you that something's off and you're not comfortable with speaking out until you've got some kind of physical and tangible evidence of something. Something's really bothering you here Virgo or your person. Something could be bothering your person because remember this could be in reverse. Okay. Um, the, 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 this whole not taking any action isn't really a choice. It's really similar to the Cancerian energy. Um, that they were going through something really similar where it was kind of damned if you do but damned if you don't vibe um, and remembering that not taking any action that there is still consequences to not taking any action all right I mean you can see in this card it's an angel and he's got one black wing and one white wing so balancing out um like your, your shadow side okay don't shy away from your shadow side whatever you do it that there's a lot of misconceptions about the shadow side of self okay it's all about the unrealized potential you've got a lot of unrealized potential here and <clears throat> you, you're feeling really stuck on on how you can evolve and develop these unrealized potentials right if you think about shadow work a lot like martial artists okay it's not about going out and picking fights it's about knowing that you can defend yourself knowing that you can stand up for yourself okay that's what it's about it's about not being afraid to speak up not being afraid to stand up for yourself that's that's the shadow side Okay, it's not about picking fights, it's about self-defense. Okay, again, if you think about the martial artists, they, they have got enough discipline to understand not to go out and just randomly punch someone in the face, right? But if someone randomly punches them in the face, they're going to have the skills and the discipline to defend themselves, to stand up for themselves, so that they're not being someone else's uh, punch bag emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, whatever it might be, okay? And it's really good timing that this is coming out in your read Virgo because we are in October and it's a really good time, I believe, 
to to really go within and to really look at those repressed pieces of ourselves. Okay. You then have honesty, clarity and true communication. Be honest about what you want and your motives. Mm -hmm. Honestly, uh, excuse me, honesty and integrity from others with cycles. What goes around comes around. Be clear about your action and make sure that it's good and differences. You'll not always agree with everyone and equally, they will not always agree with you. Different cultures, beliefs, opinions, etc. So again, if you look at the way that these cards are coming out, your first card out was all about balance, okay, between the dark and the light. And then the book ending, the read, is the same again. White kitten, dark kitten. It's the balance between the darkness and the light. This has got shadow work written all over it. And this, this, these cards are indicating that basically, um, you're tired. You're tired of being someone else's punching bag, right? And it it is just a matter of time before those who are treating you badly are going to be on the receiving end of their, their own karma, okay? With this honesty and cycles. It's just a matter of time. They're going to get what they deserve in due course, okay? You don't have to worry about that. What you need to be focused on is yourself and how how you're going to take um, these d decisive actions towards being able to stand up for yourself. OK, you don't have to take anything sitting down. You don't. That's not your job. OK, it's not your job to be someone else's keeper of frustration. All right. It's time for you to speak up. Now, with this particular read being about love and relationships, um, th there's an age old problem here that I can see, and I can't believe that it's still a fucking problem. And just seeing it in these cards is really making me so, so angry. Um, th there's something about cultural differences. So you could be involved with or about to be involved with an individual who is quite different to you. And with it comes a lot of, um, again, I can't believe that this is still a problem in modern day. It's absolutely ridiculous. Somebody's got a problem with it, though. Someone, someone has got a problem with your relationship or your impending relationship with another individual who is of a different culture, a different background, a different belief system, any or all of the above. Okay. Again, you can't, you cannot broaden someone else's mentality. Okay. You can't open up someone else's mind. Um, you can't make them see things from a bigger perspective. Okay. That's on them. The fact that they're unable to not be so closed minded is on them. Okay. That they have clearly got some kind of issue going on that they need to deal with. All right. This isn't your problem, but for whatever reason, well, for whatever reason, because of their closed mindedness, they're making it your problem. It's not your problem. OK, why? Why is this still an issue in, in today's world? I don't understand. I've never understood it, but it's there. Right. That that's for some of you. For others of you, I'm seeing that. Um, you you genuinely do feel that that another individual is lying to you. Um, they they could be trying to paint this picture of them being um, all good, all humble. They they they're trying to paint a picture of how they 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 don't have claws or they don't have teeth. And again, it's back to that shadow work side. OK, that's impossible. Everybody has got that shadow within them. We all do. But it's what we do with it that counts. 
So you're dealing with someone who's making out that they're all 100% completely good. And that that's not the reality of it. And in fact, because they've got that attitude that they're actually more shadow side than light, because they've swung too far on the pendulum, like that they've gone too far one way, that naturally with the cycles is going to swing too far in the opposite direction. So that they, this is all about avoiding something to the point that they have actually become the thing that they're trying to avoid because they refuse to do that shadow work. Is really interesting. The other message that I'm getting here for you, Virgo, is look, don't fall into the trap of sacrificing pieces of yourself just to fit in. Okay. You don't have to fit in. You, you don't have to sacrifice who you are so that society will finally accept you. Okay. Again, that's BS. Because what you'll actually find that happens is you, you will end up losing your true essence if you start to do that. Say, for example, um, say a family member is telling you, oh, you're too argumentative. So what you'll find yourself doing is repressing your need to stand up for yourself to the point where everybody just starts to walk all over you. You know, that, that's not good either. There, there is a strong message here about balance, keeping things in balance, making sure that you're not uh, sacrificing parts of who you are in the hope to fit in. Because look, not everybody's going to get along with you, but equally, you're not going to get along with everybody as well. And that's okay. At some point, you will find your, your clan, your, your tribe, your, your family. At some point, that will happen. In the meanwhile, though, you cannot um, reject who you are in the hope of being accepted because you, you'll find that you still won't get accepted. So you may as well just be yourself. You may as well just be the, the best version of yourself possible. Yeah. It's a really intense way to begin your read, but it is what it is. That's what we were given. So, you know. Right, so we're going to start pulling your tarot and with this being your mid-month read, this is going to be all about uh, your person of interest, okay? It could be love romantic, but it doesn't have to be. Um, it's just whoever else is in your energy, what's going on in their heart, in their mind, uh, their hidden energy as well, anything that they're keeping hidden from you and the potential actions that they're likely to take towards you as well. Okay. Virgo's person interest, please. And randomly, my amethyst just rolled out of that column. So you could you could be vibing with the colour purple throughout the month of October. Um, also with amethyst, they, they say to use it because it, it helps to strengthen your intuition. Okay, so what you feel in your intuition, you have to go with that. Okay, so some of you are not trusting your intuition right now. You need to trust your intuition about someone or something, okay? Some Virgo's personal interests ahead, please, if it's in their headspace. Thank you. Okay, Ace of Coins, Six of Coins and Knight of Cups. So we've got Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn with the Ace. The Six is Taurus and the Knight of Cups is Pisces energy. Um... 
Okay, would this be in their headspace? I just noticed something else as well. Look at the six of coins, the scales in the background, balance. And the six of coins is all about equality. Doing the right thing, doing what's fair, giving. It can be charity as well, but usually it's about giving and equality. Um, a give and take. Uh, it could, I suppose it could be a compromise as well. Um, there's something else within this ace of coins. I'm just going to clarify this one. Why the ace of coins, please? I'm going to go this person's headspace. Like, it's not just the ace of coins. It's not just a brand new beginning at something. It's something else. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. <clears throat> um, waiting for the right time. That can be divine timing as well. Tell me more about this ace of coins, please. Thank you. And the Queen of Coins. Okay. Right. There, There is some kind of a commitment here, right? With that Queen of Coins, Ace of Coins, Temperance. I'm getting the impression here, Virgo, that this is somebody that you don't fully trust. And they're, they're wanting to speak to you about something. It's like they're definitely wanting to offer you something with this Knight of Cups. Um, something that they believe is coming from a good place, something that they believe would be the solution to your your problem, your issue, whatever it might be, that there is an offer here. Again, that this temperance, it's um, it's another card about balance. So balance is the theme of your entire read, Virgo. What is it they're trying to balance out, please, with Virgo? Thank you. The Hanged Man, Pisces, and the Page of Wands, Fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. Temperance is Sag as well. Um, yeah, they, okay. <laughs> I think I've got it. Right, so Virgo. This is an individual who couldn't see things from your perspective in the past. They're, they're coming round to seeing things from your side of the table and they're realising that there is a lot of truth and honesty to, to what it is that you are saying. Now, some of you as well have been doing some kind of, it could be candle magic, but not, not for manipulation, more for protection. And there, there might have been um, a bit of a misunderstanding as well between you and another individual about you doing this candle work for, for some of you, where they've got the wrong impression. They thought that you were doing some kind of energy manipulation when actually what you were doing was protection work. You, you weren't trying to manipulate anybody with this. You were just trying to uh, protect your energies, protect your home, protect your family. But so, somebody's seen something like that. They've seen remnants of the candle magic and they've completely come to the wrong conclusion. Um, they, they misjudged you as well because I'm seeing in this read that this particular read is for a Virgo who is um, very spiritually knowledgeable <clears throat> and would never take advantage of the energies in that kind of way as well because like you know full, full well the consequences of, of doing anything like that for manipulation purposes. This is simply someone who's gotten the wrong the wrong idea, the, the wrong end of the stick. Um, it could be as well that maybe you've expressed your um, desire to educate yourself more about spirituality and again straight away they've jumped to the wrong conclusion and they've gone oh no witches, dark magic, warlocks, no, 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 you know, <laughs> uh, completely the wrong end of the stick. So 
we're seeing that they're coming around to your idea, that they're seeing things now from your perspective. They're finally understanding what it is that you're trying to achieve. And they're seeing that, that your intent is not negative, but actually your intent was positive because you, you're just finding and utilizing these tools to protect yourself spiritually. That's what I see is going on in this read. That they were repulsed by something, something that you were doing, because they didn't understand. It really is that simple. They didn't get it. But now, with this Six of Coins, Knight of Cups, Ace of Coins, now they understand. Now they get it. Now they realise that you weren't doing anything dangerous <clears throat> or dodgy or scary or dark. No, you, you weren't doing anything like that at all. They understand. And from what I can see in their headspace, they're, they're definitely wanting to talk to you about it as well. And quite possibly as well with that six of coins, they're, they're going to be asking you for your advice as well. But it's in their heart space toward Virgo, please. Nine of Swords. Okay, so they were wrong. They, they knew, they, they, they know straight up that they were wrong. Nine of Swords is Gemini energy. Um, usually that's the nightmare card. You know, someone who can't sleep. They've got these uh, thoughts doing circles in their head. Uh, definitely regretting something that they said as well. The Five of Coins. Yeah, Taurus energy. Feeling, feeling like they've lost a good thing. Feeling like that they're, they're, they're missing out with the five of coins. It's in their heart toward Virgo. Thank you. Yeah, and the King of Cups. Miss, missing out on a love, a good love, quite possibly for some of you, the, the love of a lifetime or just the best love that they ever experienced. Um, th this is in their heart space. What can I say, Virgo? You have had a profound impact on somebody in a very positive way definitely missing you full of regret um it sounds like a cliche but look at the cards yourself you you can see that the cards are coming out you've been misjudged this what are they hiding from virgo please they hiding? Nope. Ace of Cups. Yeah. Hiding the fact that they're still, they, they, they still love you. They're still in love. Two of Cups. Look, Ace of Cups, Two of Cups. They're, they're wanting to be in something with you. I mean, again, it's not necessarily about romantic love. Okay. For some of you, it is. This could just be a family member who has misjudged you for something that you were doing and they've realized that actually you, you know that they need to open up their minds that they need to open up their eyes and i'm not just talking their, their physical eyes that they need to open up all all of their eyes and see everything that's going on and the angel de la nuit which is the angel of the night <laughs> how funny you're embracing your shadow work here Virgo you're embracing it it's nothing to be scared of again that there are so many misconceptions out there um that this is balance and education once someone has got the education that they need so that they can make their own decision that's them getting their power back okay they, they were so single-minded um like they, they were hearing the words but not understanding what it was about and just getting scared they were afraid they, they were legit feared right this angel de la nuit 
is all about um, some. It could be somebody going through their own dark night of their soul. OK, so this person could have been triggered into their own dark night of the soul and thereby being spiritually awoken. And for anybody who has gone through that, you'll know full well that a, a spiritual awakening is not romantic. It is dark. It's dirty. It's scary. It's a terrifying place to be that that dark night of the soul. Absolutely terrifying. It's not a spiritual awakening is not about, you know, yoga pants and stretches and and eating vegetarian food and, and, and nothing else. You know, a spiritual awakening, a true spiritual awakening is fucking painful and it takes you to some seriously dark places and it forces you, forces you to uh, balance out your darkness and the light. It's that understanding, that shocking revelation that, you know, that there isn't anything that's 100% good and there isn't anything that's 100% bad. It's that revelation that life is many, many shades of grey. It's not black and white. It's grey. Right? So what we're seeing in your person's hidden energy, Virgo, they have gone through their own dark night of the soul and they have realized as well, well, they're getting a message here from the universe with this angel card that they're, they're going to be okay in spite of everything else that's going on around them. So they're finding their strength, they're finding their power and guess what else? They're finding their voice as well through this spiritual awakening. They're taking back their power, that they're not just going to be uh, gullible to um, what society is telling them. They're finding their strength and their, their hidden energy, Ace of Cups, Two of Cups. I'm telling you that this is somebody who is wanting a relationship with you, a loving open, receptive relationship with you, Virgo. It could be romantic, but it doesn't have to be. Okay. But this is literally, you tried to tell them, you tried to tell them they weren't listening. They weren't having it. They, they were repulsed by, by what they either saw or heard. And now they're coming back around to you. They're, they're making a beeline for you. And not only do we see, I do feel, I'm not seeing the, the Page of Cups, but I'm feeling that Page of Cups energy. I'm feeling that apology, that heartfelt apology. It's within this Knight of Cups. Look at how the hands are across the heart. If that's not a heartfelt apology, I don't know what is. It, this individual is going to be completely and utterly authentic with you, Virgo completely. What actions will they take toward Virgo, please? Oh, that's gone on the floor. You'll have to give me a second, Virgo. I do apologise. I'm way too old for these cards to be going on the floor. Okay, nine of cups in reverse. Um, that's quite sad. That's quite sad because <clears throat> for the immediate future is indicating that, um, have you ever heard of the phrase cutting your nose off to spite your face? Um, for the immediate future, your person will be doing that. Okay. But it's not going to last forever. I feel that this is really, really temporary. I really do. Um, they, in the immediate future, like they're going to continue to avoid their, um, avoid the, their own happiness. It, it's like punishment. They, they, they're punishing themselves. Um, they, they feel that they deserve to be punished. Um, I, I don't want to say self-harming, but it could, you could be dealing with someone who struggles with self-harm. Um, you know, fe feeling that anger, that frustration, again, because they, they were avoiding that shadow work. So all of that shadow energy, that anger, frustration, the um, 
the the upset, the unrest. They, they've been trying to keep it repressed for so long that it's caused like a, a, a pressure cooker energy. So for the immediate future, we still see this uh, self-hatred that they have towards themselves. Um, so they're, they're, it's a process. You have to understand that they're going through this difficult process. Actions towards Virgo, please. There's uh, self-depreciating comments as well with the Nine of Cups in reverse. And then you've got Death. Okay, so that's Scorpion energy. You've got the Fool, it's Aquarius, <clears throat> and the Seven of Swords is also Aquarius. Okay, so basically, I mean, you could be dealing with any sign, but the main signs that we see are Sagittarius, Taurus, Pisces, Scorpio, and Aquarius. Okay, they're the main ones. They could also be placements in your own chart as well. Um, <laughs> death rebirth process, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? They're, they're, for the immediate future, they're still going through this self-loathing, self-hatred. Okay, Again, really, really temporary. It's not going to last forever. They need to go through their, their own death rebirth process, that phoenix moment. Once they've come out of the ashes, if you will, I mean straight away, the fool. The fool immediately following death. Like really could it get any more clearer uh, probably not uh, and then the seven of swords so we're going to clarify this seven of swords okay because it can be about uh, lies deceit trickery it can be lying through omission it could also indicate somebody running away as well so we're going to clarify why the Seven of Swords, please, for their actions toward Virgo. The Two of Coins in reverse. Feeling overwhelmed. So they're, they're going to feel tempted uh, with this feeling overwhelmed. That They're definitely going to feel tempted to continue to run from this connection or this relationship or more importantly run from themselves okay so what I'm seeing is that there isn't a quick fix for what your person's going through again it's a process it is not linear okay one day you're going to feel like you're finally getting someplace with them and then the next day it's going to be the complete opposite and they'll start running again it's probable but not definite that you're dealing with a twin flame situation here, okay? With, with all of this uh, spiritual energy, uh, with them running from themselves, you know, it, it does have all the hallmarks of a twin flame connection. It really, really does. Um, but that that's not guaranteed for, for all of you, okay? Again, it's a general read. So you just take what's resonating for you. So... As I say, their, their actions towards you, it's very off and on, it's very hot and cold, very push and pill. It's um, very two steps forward, one step back. But remember that it's still forward movement. Even though it is two steps forward and then one step back, it's still forward movement. It's, it's just going to take some time. Okay. The energy at the bottom of the deck is the sun, Leo energy. It's beautiful. Um focus on your journey focus on your life your dreams your aspirations this is the start of a brand new life okay it's also the card of victory success but it's under there the eight of coins yeah you perfecting your craft so you are focused on yourself you are perfecting your craft you are trying to be the best version of yourself every single day um, that that's the most that any of us can do the eight of coins can also be about studying as well advancing yourself advancing your career um, and as i say just understanding that um, life isn't about perfection it's about wholeness i 
I feel that this is your energy that's on the outside of, of this individual's energy and that they're, they're looking in your direction as some kind of guiding light for sure, for sure. Okay, right, so we're going to pull some healing messages. So Virgo, please. Oh. Thank you. Reason. Listen to advice, think clearly and intellect. Okay, so the the book that comes with this they give you um, the blessing and the curse messages. So what we'll do, we're going to take both of the messages and we'll say that the curses is part of the shadow work. OK, <clears throat> All right. So it says your mind is powerful and will be used for your soul's highest purpose. Accept excellent advice and see the results that this can bring. And then the curse is fear of accepting the advice that seems almost too sensible. A belief that nothing is easy, panicking and feeling overwhelmed with details or paperwork and feeling that you have nobody to turn to. It's time to sit calmly, clear your mind and begin to work your way through the details of your dilemma. There is a person about you who is able to advise you. Please ask them for their assistance and listen and act when that good advice is given. So, OK, th there are definitely two sides of this coin, Virgo. First side, you're incredibly good at giving good advice, right? Doesn't mean that everybody's going to take it. And yes, you will get frustrated when when you spend your time giving someone else good advice and then they go off and do, you know, do, do their own thing anyway, um, which is fair enough. We've all got free will. Um, the, the problem seems to come in when you're the one that needs help and when you're the one that needs advice. And you're afraid to. You're afraid to ask others for help and advice. And that's the shadow work that, um, that, that you're still needing to look at. Okay. That there is no shame in needing help, that there is no shame in asking for it. Somebody is feeling overwhelmed within this read and they're feeling overwhelmed because they feel that they do not have a support network. You do have a support network, Virgo. Perhaps you're not looking in the right places. Some of you are finding your support network through your, your spirit guides, your ancestors, uh, through any spiritual work that you're doing. Some of you are finding your support network there. Um, as far as support network in the physical, you do feel very limited but they, they are definitely around you, as limited as it might be. And also as well with you being a Virgo, it's like you, you don't tend to trust others anyway. It's Virgo, please. Oh. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Yeah, through turmoil. There is definitely turmoil in this energy and a blessing is going to be revealed through that. I nearly dropped it on the floor again. Embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. Friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. And if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. So I feel that that's them, Virgo. Um, they're, they're scared to listen to their heart's desire and their heart's desire is you. This could be one of your friends. It could be. It could be someone who um, 
wants to start off as friends and take it from from there you know baby steps basically it's definitely not an energy of somebody who wants to uh, jump straight in to the the connection or the relationship it's definitely someone who's got a very earthy energy a very sort of slow moving energy okay so you've got game over can you accept an ending grief loss change big life lessons arise when a new game comes into play always evolve onwards and take it to the next level so yeah something is ending so, so that something else can begin that's that's literally that death rebirth process and the empathic eel there was once an empathic eel with a super strong power to feel this sometimes left her feelings blue as she absorbed all of the bad stuff too so many of us are sensitive but deep empathy takes that one step further empaths feel everything the beautiful the bad and the plain ugly we can often put this ability to good use but it's quite frankly fucking exhausting are you feeling everything right now yeah hypersensitive feeling hypersensitive might be an idea as well Virgo for you to protect your energies um, <clears throat> through salt baths uh, chakra clearing and cleansings energetic clearings uh, black tourmaline that's another good one as well um, it, it is an exhausting read I will give you that it's th there's so much that's going on spiritually definitely so much going on right so to conclude this read we're going to pull completely at random six letters this could be someone's name someone's nickname uh anything okay it's just a little bit of additional confirmation for those who are needing right so we've got z v S R U and E okay right so that is what I have for you Virgo if you would like to pick a private reading with me then the link to do so can be found down there in my description box and it's in my pinned comments thank you so so much for watching have a lovely week and i will see you in the next one bye